And that's a very good shot. Beautifully played. Just drifted into the pads. And he's whipped it over mid-wicket. There's a Mahmoud to Sharia Hussain. And he's gone for the big one over the top and he struck it well too. Azam Mahmoud just trying to go a little fuller to get that away swing. And Sharia has deposited over mid on. First 50 partnership uh, against Pakistan. This is Sharia hitting Azam Mahmoud over mid on. Nice wristy controlled shot. Four runs. More runs here, and that's very well timed. Nicely delayed, using the pace of the ball, and also hitting it into the gap. So this is a very good little partnership. Sharia starting to play very well indeed. That's his fifth four. Saklan Mushtaq to bowl from the commentary box in. And he's gone, stumped. Well, can you believe that? 68 is the highest partnership for any wicket and they've equaled that and now he's out stumped down the leg side it would have been a wide a little bit of an experience Bangladesh lose their first wicket so Klain got a wicket off a wide big shout from Saklain it's hit him on the pad this could be out it is and that's two wickets down now for Bangladesh and the great pity for them is that they've lost Sharia, the run scorer. Yes, I mean, he's going for the sweep here against Saklane, and I think he's probably a little bit unlucky here. This one looking as if it's going on to Mr. Legstump. New batsman is the captain of Bangladesh, Aminul Islam, who is to join the former captain at the middle, Akram Khan. This is Saklane Mushtaq to Aminul. Gone for the big hit, and it's a good one. The captain shows the way how it's done. That'll do his confidence a power of good. Beautifully struck. This could be the Bangladesh 100. Long chase for Afridi, but he won't pull it in. That's four runs. Very, very good shot from Aminol. 100 for Bangladesh, 101 for two. Freddy from the commentary box end. He's bowling to Aminov. Oh, yeah. Bowled him. I think he's dragged it back on. So Afridi in his second over strikes. And after a very good partnership of 50, Aminov departs. He's tried a leg break. Ball goes straight and played on. Wakar in his second spell. Here he is to Akram Khan on 38. Akram Khan down the pitch, loads of confidence from the former captain. This is the best he's played in this World Cup. Here's Waka Yunus. It's gone high off the leading edge, this is going to be a catch. Wazim Akram takes the catch. And Waka Yunus takes his first wicket in this World Cup. And it's one they needed. Akram Khan, the man to go, 42. He was threatening to have a go at Wakar. New batsman is Min Hazul Abedin. 148 for four. This is Wakar Yunus to Nemo Rahman. He's bowled him. Timber's gone. Only the two stumps left, and Wakar is back with a vengeance. This is brilliant stuff from Waka Yunus, he is tearing in and he wants to tear out Bangladesh Saklane Mushtaq is back in attack to Min Hazul oh it's a dolly, it is an absolute dolly Saklane will not get an easier catch it's a soft dismissal Min Hazul disappointingly leaves and Saklane has cracked it again yes I mean this is a very soft dismissal He's looking to whack it on the offside. Ends up doing nothing at all but just leaving the bat there. New batsman is Khaled Masood. 
Sackline again, bowling to Mahmoud. And that's stumped. Gone a long way. Khalid Mahmoud charging down the wicket. Trying to accelerate the scoring rate. And that's not easy against that man, Sackline. And he's paid the penalty, 195 for seven. The new batsman is a left-hander, Mohammad Rafiq. That's 200 for Bangladesh. Sackline coming in for his 10th over, and he's bowling to Rafiq. And this is in the air. It's just chipped up. This could be out. Shoaib has taken a nice, comfortable catch. And Sackline has got his fifth wicket. He's bowled absolutely superbly. Went for the big one. Just chipped it up to long off. New batsman is Namor Rashid. Oh, that's got to be very close. That's out. Yes, it is. Umpire Darrell Hare, no hesitation. Caught right on the crease. That little bit of in-swing. And Rashid departs. Late reverse swing. No problem at all. Nine wickets down. 212 for Bangladesh. Wazim to Masood. In the air, and he could get a four here. He does. That's nicely played. A little bit of width. Too wide from Wazim Akram. And he's paid the price. He's given away four. The very last ball. Shab Akta to Masood. And well bowled. That's what they'll end up with. 223 for nine. 50 overs have been bowled. A very competitive total from Bangladesh. And that's out. Early blow for Bangladesh. Alfredi flicking that ball around the leg side, getting an outside edge. Nice, simple catch, and that's a very, very good breakthrough for Bangladesh. Five for one. Thanks, up there. Incoming batsman. Ijaz Ahmed, Shafidin to Ijaz. And he's bowling. Bangladesh supporters go crazy as they strike the second wicket. Ijaz looking to cut that one, getting the bottom edge onto his stumps. And that's two wickets down in the second over. Pakistan, seven for two. Well, what a blow this is. This is going to be something of a real revelation if they get another couple of wickets. Pakistan in all sorts of trouble. Incoming batsman, Inziman al -Haq. A lovely shot. Short and wide. And Inziman's cracked that one for four. Shafuddin to Anwar. It's going, to, it's going to be a run out here. Yes, and he's out. Naimul Rama, good piece of field in there at mid-wicket. They've lost their third wicket. We're in the eighth over. Saeed Anwar has been run out. And that's a blow for Pakistan. This is terrible running by Inzimam. He really didn't respond. It's Saeed Anwar's call. He's running to the danger end. The, the fielder picking it up would have thrown it straight at the bowler's end. Inzi has refused to move, and he's been involved in a lot of runouts. And uh, Said Anwar just caught short. He's run a one all on his own, and yet he just hasn't made it. So the third wicket down, 26 for three. A new batsman, Salim Mali. Mahmoud now, that's going to be very close, so close it's out. Inzamam has gone, and Bangladesh are completely on top of Pakistan. Here's the ball, Inzamam going back, trying to whip it through mid-wicket, and really that's Plum LBW. Ecstatic Bangladesh. 
Time for a chat, time for a serious talk. Salim is joined by the new batsman, Azar Mahmoud. And his side is reeling at 29 for four. Khalid Mahmoud now to Azar Mahmoud. Lovely stroke. Great shot by Azar. Now, he is Pakistan's brightest uh, young player. He scored three centuries against South Africa, and each time when Pakistan were in a lot of trouble. Mahmoud to Salim Malik. Oh, big shout, and the finger's gone up. Daryl Hare has given him out. Coloured Mahmoud has struck for the third time. Pakistan are on the rack. They're 42 for five. Well, that did not look a very good decision to me. He was right on the front foot. Well, actually, you could just see the off stump, but I guess uh, the umpire had a better sight there. Cometh the hour, cometh the man, the captain is in. Wazim Akram and all of Pakistan he wants the captain to do a job. Khalid Mahmoud to Wazim Akram. Down the pitch goes the captain. Well, that's the captain's answer. Is it the formula that will get them out of this mess? Was it four or six? Well, this is where Wasim is good at, on the offensive. Very nicely timed straight drive. Uh, that looks six runs to me. Amir Rashid to Mahmoud. And a flashing drive by Mahmoud over extra cover. Four runs. Pressure mounting on these two batsmen. Rashid to Akram. Akram drives, lovely shot. That will do his confidence a lot of good. Through extra cover, four runs. Rafiq to Akram. Yes, oh, that was a chance. Rafiq. Deserved a wicket here. He's done him in flight. Was him Akram looking for the big drive and he's just chipped it back. I don't think Rafiq was expecting that. Minazul to Wazim. Aminul oh, Islam. Oh, there's a problem here. That is awful for Pakistan. The bat has gone down from the captain. He is completely disgusted either with himself, the situation, whatever it is. But the scoreboard will tell him that Pakistan has lost the sixth wicket. The captain stays, and it's Azar Mahmoud who goes for 29. Aman al Islam, captain of Bangladesh, the fielder. Well, excellent fielding by Bangladesh. And look, look at this dive. Really, that's a great piece of fielding. And a very good throw. Kept his head and a very comfortable run out. In fact, Azar did not even try to get back. And this is all happening due to the immense pressure put on by the Bangladeshi team on Pakistan. So in comes Moin Khan at eight for Pakistan. Min Hazul to Wazim Akram on 29. Oh, it's in the air. It's going to be a catch. It's going to be out. It is out. Sharia takes the catch. Pakistan have lost their captain. There is pandemonium here at Northampton. Is well, that the beginning of the end? Well, a great joy for Bangladesh. It's the wicket they wanted, and they've got Wasim Akram. There's Wasim Akram wa walking out. Now he's tried to sweep it. He timed it well, but that's a long, long boundary and a very well, well judged catch. That's the end of Wasim Akram, and Pakistan now in serious trouble. Saklain Mushtaq. In at nine. Min Hazul to Moin Khan. Nicely turned by Moin. Great wrist play. Just angle the bat, turn of the wrist. 
the vacant area of third man for four runs. Min Hulzel to Sacklin. Good single here. Ooh. Very close indeed. Khalid Mahmoud, he's picked this up and he's not that far away. Only just missed. Sacklin's not even in the picture. He would have been run out by yards. Rahman to Moen Khan. And he's hit this one back with a square. He's going to be out and he's out. Yes, it looks all over for Pakistan now, Moen Khan. And this is the man that they wanted. And aren't they delighted? Moen Khan likes to get it over cover. Gave himself plenty of room to do it. Struck it really well, but that is a, such a long boundary. And Mirab has judged that to perfection. Taken it on the chest. Isn't he delighted? He's got every right to be as well. Bangladesh are in sight of a really historic win. Mohan Khan out for 18, 124 for 8. The incoming batsman, Waka Yunis. He goes for the big one. He gets it over mid-wicket. It's running up to the boundary. Four runs. And this one's in the air and over the top. Stroke of authority at last for Pakistan. They've got an awful lot to do. There'll have to be a lot more of those. Rafiq to Waka Yunus. Rafiq tempting Pakistan with a bit of spin. Oh! He's bowled in, giving himself plenty of room, and the middle stump goes back. Rafiq has struck full delivery. Would have been hard to put away in under any circumstances, but moving away to leg, Waka Yunus has paid the price. 160 for nine. And the last right's about to be delivered. Look at this. Just trying to give himself lots of room. And away he goes. Well, back to the pavilion. Yorked himself, really. New batsman is Shaub Akta, number 11 for Pakistan. Rahman is the bowler from the football stand-in. Good-looking shot. Could be a chance of a run out. There's going to be a little peel here, and he's always calling for the third umpire. And there's absolute chaos here. There is absolute chaos. People coming from everywhere, and the game is not over yet. Well, it could be over if uh, the um third umpire says yes to this. But uh, as far as the crowd is concerned, they think it's all over. The police are helpless. Absolutely helpless. Everybody has been engulfed. It'll take a few minutes here to A, find out whether he's run out, and B, if he's not, to get the game underway again. Well, the crowd has obviously decided that it's over, Barry. Uh, poor Sir Clan. <laughs> he's all bemused there. Well, let's have a look and see if this is run out. Shaw plays a pretty good shot here. Good piece of fielding. Up quickly. Assesses the situation and is this in or out? He's gone, it is over. Well, the crowd was right, that's out. Pakistan all out for 161 in the 45th over. And look at the jubilation there. There'll be some celebrations tonight, and it's well merited and well deserved. They've outplayed Pakistan. One of the favourites for the World Cup, and the scenes are extraordinary in Northampton. Well, seven for two, 42 for five. What did happen to the Pakistan top order? Even Inzamam cast adrift without reaching double figures. A nominal recovery further down, but a rather desultory performance. Mahmood with three for 31 was the pick of the Bangladesh bowlers, but everybody chipped in, and it was a marvellous all-round team performance that will doubtless have them celebrating late into the night, especially in London's East End, where there's such a huge Bangladeshi population. They're still partying now, I'm sure. And we keep talking about a carnival. That's what we meant, surely. A great occasion. Mahmood was the star turn for Bangladesh, as you can see. And so, just to confirm that despite all that, Pakistan do top the table, and they go through, along with Australia and New Zealand, the West Indies, Sri Lanka and England, all will be missing from the second stage. Can you believe it? Amanal Islam, captain... 
of Bangladesh. What does this victory mean to you? Uh, this is a great victory for us. This will help us definitely for the test status and the um, development in cricket in Bangladesh. Pakistan is one of the best teams in the world, no doubt about it. When we came here, we had a plan to beat Scotland and if possible, give them a good fight to other giant nations. So it's a very good victory for us for the future of our cricket. Is the mood in the dressing room that there's one bad day out of the way? Yeah, so I think the boys are a little down at the moment, but that's what exactly we told them, one bad day and hopefully the bad day, whatever we had during the World Cup, it's over now.